Hey everybody, so I've had some pretty interesting experiences on my rides from San Gil to where I am now in Bucaramanga. Um, I noticed on the map that there was just going to be a ton of climbing. The next place that had a hotel was only 20 miles, but it was like 3,700 feet of climbing. And the most climbing I've ever done in a day is 4,000 feet. It took 10 hours and then a couple of days to recover, so I really try to keep my climbing to less than 3,000 feet in a day. And so I thought, you know what, this is a really good opportunity for me to try to take a bus. Um, you know, there's really only one rule for taking the bus, and that is the trike just has to fit. And so I went to the bus station, and um, sure enough, the bus was full, like the undercarriage was just chocked full. And I had made a reservation at a hotel, and um, you know, I called and the man said, you know, so you're at the bus station, just hang tight and I'll be there. And gosh, he was there in like 10 minutes. And he looked at the trike at first, he, you know, he didn't understand why I couldn't use a small bus. And I said, it just won't fit. And he said, oh, but you know what? I have a friend that's in the delivery business and I'm gonna call him. And sure enough, boy, he came very quickly loaded up the trike with my bags and he said, you know what, um, I'll just meet you at the hotel. It's going to be a little while because we have some deliveries to make, but we'll definitely be there before seven. And the hotel guy and I got on a small bus and we made our way up and out of San Gil on a very winding, steep road. I was very happy that I had gotten a ride, but we were about halfway to the hotel and I suddenly realized that, you know what, I don't know these guys. I don't even know this hotel guy. I could have made a terrible mistake and I'm never gonna see my trike or my stuff again. And you know, he just laughed and he just said, oh no, 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 don't worry about it. These guys are great, uh, but what do I know? And so we got to the hotel and the waiting was very hard. I had to wait a few hours, but they did show up and I had my trike and all my stuff back and it was like everything was right with the world again. Um, but what was really interesting is that the hotel had this phenomenal view of a canyon. This is the Canyon de Chicamocha. Um, very deep, huge. I think it's bigger than the Grand Canyon. And, uh, but it was very, very basic. And he had, um, online it was talked about as being a hotel spa. Trust me, this was no hotel spa. Um, but it had everything. I was safe. The only thing it didn't have was um, Wi-Fi. And so I really couldn't stay because I'm very, very behind on uh, my photos and my videos and my blog. And so the next day I got going and it was an incredible ride through this canyon. I think I dropped like 4,000 feet and there were just outstanding views. And then I got down to the river and then I had to climb back out. It wasn't nearly um, as steep or as far as like 2,500 feet. And then I crested and I, um, had another nice downhill to where I thought there was a couple of hotels, but you know what, I couldn't find them. And so I ended up going uh, much further than I had planned to a town called Pia de Cuesta, which is a very big city and a suburb of Bucaramanga, which is a town of like over a million people. And so I found a, a, you know, a good hotel. Um, unfortunately, it didn't have hot water. And so the next day I made my way to Bucaramanga and I decided to stay at a great hotel. I ended up at a Holiday Inn, totally splurged, had this fantastic view. Oh, I had hot water. The bed was comfortable. Oh, it was just so nice to sit and lounge and relax. There was a terrace roof with a pool and a bar and just had this incredible view of the city, especially at night. And so um, I splurged there for two nights. It was a little bit outside of town and so now I've moved into the center of town Got a lot of things to take care of here. I need to get my visa extended. Um, you can see I got my hair cut and colored. It's another very interesting experience. It's not the color I asked for. I even pointed to a color swatch in a book. I guess the guy didn't have the color I pointed to and just did my hair in a color that he had. Um, he finished and I said, you know what, this isn't blonde. This isn't the color I asked for. He said, oh yeah, it's blonde. I said, it isn't blonde. And then he said, well, it'll lighten up over time. I think it's a nice color. It's just not what I asked for. And um, blonde just works a lot better for me when I'm traveling. But you know what? Again, sometimes you just don't get what you ask for and you just have to, you just have to go with it. Um, so now I'm um, updating my blog. I'm 
updating, getting my photos uploaded, doing some videos, and I've put together some clips of the ride from San Gil to Bucaramanga. I hope you enjoy it, and thank you for watching. Come on, Myrtle. Let's go. <laughs> well done, Nestor. Well done. Oh, Erwin. Mi triciclo y maletas llegaron. <laughs> Oh. Bravo! 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 Nestor, riding Myrtle. <laughs> Myrtle in the Canyon de Chica Mocha. Oh, llegué! <laughs> De Bogota! De Bogota City! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.